Hey guys, I did not film a intro for this video, but I'm doing it right now before I edit this video. But this week I did a different quiet time every single day. I started off with my normal quiet time and then I just did different things during the week to make my quiet time exciting and different and to learn different things from it but I guess we'll get into the footage of me doing my quiet times differently every day for seven days I'm about to do my Bible time portion of my quiet time but before I do that I just thought I should share kind of what spoke to me during the time of worship the song that I was listening to was called ways and in the part of the song, I was really getting into the worship and just letting go and letting the spirit move. A part of the bridge says, my only prayer is more. And then it says, I need you more and I want you more. That's what we should desire. We should desire to give Jesus everything that we are. So this is what I'm using today. Bible. This is my Bible reading plan, highlighters, and some scripture memorization because that's what I normally do. So I'm going to get into it. I just got done reading the book of Habakkuk. And this is just so beautiful because this story of Habakkuk is just Habakkuk praying to God and listening for God to speak back to him and it's just so real because he's confused and I think we a lot of the times can be confused about like why God does stuff he asked him a bunch of questions my camera's gonna die so I'm gonna have to switch over to my other one sorry in low light this camera does not look the best and what I was gonna say before my camera died was even though he's asking God questions at the end he says though the fig tree does not bud and there is no fruit on the vine though the olive crop fails and the field produce no food though the flocks disappear from the pen and there will be no herds in the stalls yet i will celebrate the lord i will rejoice in the god of my salvation the lord is my strength he makes my feet like those of deer and he enables me to walk in the mountain heights. There's lots of crazy stuff going on in the world. There's a lots of chaos in our world. There's so much evil in our world. Yet God is still good. And yes, we as Christians sometimes may have questions like, Why God do you allow this? We may not always understand, but God is a God who he will answer you if you ask him questions. He will give you answers from his word. And sometimes there's questions that we might just not be able to understand because we're of this world. But I just thought that was so beautiful and I'm so excited to get into the study guide. This says Habakkuk is a model of righteousness for today as a man who loved the Lord. He was willing to seek understandings of his ways and he was willing to trust and to rejoice in God's salvation even when his plans seemed to be beyond comprehensions. For those who love the Lord may still be facing incomprehensive difficulties but should not be overwhelmed by them. Those who live by faith will remain loyal to him despite the circumstances remembering that God is the salvation and strength of his people will produce rejoicing in the Lord and confidence in the Lord's ultimate good plan but yeah I just read the commentary and read you that no matter what you're going through no matter if you're understanding God or not he is for you not against you and he loves you and cares for you Day three, I did my quiet time at the camper on the porch and I started in my coffee and Bible time prayer journal. And then I read Psalm and Proverb of the day for that certain day. I just looked it up and read those chapters and just highlighted and all that stuff. 
So day four, I did Chloe J. Roy's Bible study of James, and I started off with gratitude journaling, and we just studied the book of James. I highlighted, and I also took notes in a notebook. So this is another day of a quiet time, and I decided to wait today to do my quiet time. So I'm outside. I printed one of my friend's printables to do my quiet time. It is Abigail who has the channel Truth Be Told. And she has this Bible study map. And it just has a bunch of stuff. I think we're going to be in the book of John today. And also, today's the first day of the Shine Bright Summer Bible Study. So I'm going to be reading that as well for my quiet time. But... I'm outside underneath my tree, change of scenery. So let's get into the quiet time. So guys, I really enjoyed this quiet time. I did my, my scripture memorization. As y'all saw, I did my Sean Bright devotional, which was really good. It was talking about our identity in Christ. I read John and did the study that Abigail has. And with that study, a word that really stuck out to me was come and see. And God wants us and he invites us to come and see every single day. He invites us to come and see who he is and to know him deeper and to dig into his word. So I just encourage you with that today to read God's word and come and see and to know him for yourself and to know who he is through his word and through prayer and through a walk with him. But it's very loud outside, but that's a little bit of what I learned today through my quiet time. So today I'm going to do a coffee and Bible time real time study that they did and it's called this the Palmadora or something study. Studying our Bibles together doing Pomodoro technique. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But. So during this hour, I just went over Psalm 1 and Psalm 23, and I just read it in a bunch of different versions and read the commentary. And if you want to do this Pomodoro study, I will link the video below to Coffee and Bible Times channel. Okay, finally five minutes is up. And now we're back to getting in the Word. I just made coffee on my break. Guys, the battery's low, but we read about the Good Samaritan and did this study and did a Jesus calling. It was very good. So it's noisy outside and I got my other camera but I just wanted to say this week has been really good it's been really awesome to switch up my quiet time I really like this fruit of the spirit thing like I said we were reading about the good Samaritan it was really good we talked about the fruit of the spirit of love in this one and these are really good from Dollar Tree I loved all the quiet times that I did I will have Chloe's video linked below, Coffee and Bible Times video linked below. I'll have my friend's printable with that video linked below so you guys can do that. But it's been an awesome week of different quiet times and I've really enjoyed it. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye guys.